We all know that we should probably be revisiting past notes more frequently than we do. It's not because we want to edit them or even really change them. In fact, one of Reflect's principles of note taking is to be a pen only, which means we don't need to worry about going back and editing or restructuring our old notes. Um, but there's a bunch of reasons that we want to visit past notes. Sometimes we won't even remember the information that we've recorded. It can be useful for perspective to see what we were doing or how we were feeling a certain period of time before. So today I'm going to show you a couple ways for revisiting these past notes that we've written for whatever reason you might want to. Now, the first one here is going to take place directly within our search. So here I am in Reflect's new search. Uh, just to give a quick pitch for it, it's great. You can add as many filters up here at the top as you'd like. And you can even chat with your notes using AI, which is a very magical feature, but I won't be going into that today. Uh, as this first example, I've typed in random note here and you see these first search results. Um, I also put an exact search type just to make it easier. You don't need to do that, but um, you can see that these search results are all of my notes up top that have the phrase uh, or exact phrase random note in it. But if we go down to the bottom here, uh, there is a go to random note bar that we can push. And just like it sounds, if we click into this, it's just going to take me to a random note. So let's see where this goes. Hopefully it won't be something super embarrassing. And OK, at least it wasn't embarrassing, although this one might not be particularly useful. I can tell this is from an old Apple note import because um, it has the P237, which is how I denoted all of my Apple notes coming in. Um, and I can already tell this is just about a past startup I was working for where we were selling an e-commerce product. Um, I know that just because I remember off the top of my head. So this isn't a reflect note. It's one of my old ones. So, you know, that's either an upside or a downside of using the random note uh, feature within search. You don't know what it's going to end up on. Um, it, it might end up on a daily note. It might end up on some random note you created. Um, so I'm going to show you another method that I actually think is a little more useful than clicking on the random note button, but use whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to go back into my daily note here. And this was mentioned on a tips and tricks video, but not everyone knows you can actually type relative dates in Reflect. So I can type in tomorrow and it just creates a backlink for tomorrow, where if I click it, it will go to tomorrow's daily note. Uh, and you can do that for anything. You can do that for um, a month from now. You could do it for, oops, delete all of that. Um, you could do it for, you know, 30 days ago. Um, and as soon as you click that, it will turn it into uh, that date for the background. So this is helpful in resurfacing notes because um, we can choose any interval and say uh, revisit note from, um, let's say, 200 days ago, because kind of one of my favorite intervals in terms of a time period that I might start forgetting something, but still want to, uh, you know, kind of remember it. So if I look at the preview here, um, it's just a daily note where I was probably messing around probably for a video on a demo brain um, with some Zapier integrations getting the weather to be added. And I click into this. Um, there's not really much else. So I'm quite confident this was just for a demo video. Um, if it was my real notebook, I'd probably have my uh, actual daily notes in here. But you can kind of see how it works. Um, and... You can actually set up a template for this as well to make it a little bit easier. So if I go into my preferences and click on templates, you see here that I have a um, a template set up to call look back. And it just says look back 200 days ago. Again, could change this to any interval that you wanted to. I think it's probably more interesting to go longer back the longer you've been taking notes. So if you've been taking notes for years, go over a year back. If you've been taking uh, notes for a decade go years back into the into the past and you could even set up different ones but um, I'm denoting it by this open backlink here if you're wondering why I didn't close it it's because as soon as I closed it it actually would turn it into the date which I don't want I want it to stay as a relative date so as long as I keep it like that I can go into my daily note and just type type look back and it appears this I do have to press enter one more time just to confirm that that's where I want to go and, you know, I could add this as a task in my to-do list uh, to just look back each day. Um, if you have like a to-do list that you call on um, with some habits or something that stays the same every day, this would be a great one to add to that list. So 
That is just a couple of easy ways that you can revisit past or random notes. I think the second one is my favorite, but uh, I actually didn't know about the random note feature in our search until Alex pointed it out to me a few days ago. So uh, I was looking for an excuse to include it in a video. So go have fun, try it. I think it's a really nice thing to add into your notes. And even if it's just for fun, it's always great kind of looking back on what you were doing a long time ago.